Okay, it's beer o'clock again on The Real Ale Guide. Today we've got a beer from Bass, and it's their trademark number one premium pale ale. Coming in at 4.4% ABV. I used to work for a Bass pub years and years ago. And I had great times there as a teenager. Only serving regular beers like John Smith's, Worthington's and Carling and some of the alcohol pops that were quite famous back then or quite popular should I say. But yeah, when the pace had come through it was always bass at the top and I never got to try any of their beers but because for some reason they, they, they didn't have it. But a few years ago I was out with Mrs Real Ale Guide and we popped the new bar opened in, in Barry where we live and we popped in for a drink and they had this bass trademark number one in there and I thought oh brilliant let's give it a go and back then I won the beer review so I thoroughly enjoyed it oh, what a lovely beer this is um, and then lo and behold in my local supermarket the other day a bottle of bass trademark number one premium pale ale it's probably very traditional but looking at the beer in the glass, into the review, it's a lovely chestnut coloured beer, clean, crisp, bubbles there, bubbling away, carbonation should I say, small one finger head, it's, it's white, let's get a nose on the beer. First nose, I've got to be honest, it smells a bit farty. The second nose is a mixture of a little bit of citrus and some nice kind of roasted malty flavours. Again, premium pale ale. It's going to be an, a good old fashioned English or British pale ale. It's not going to be a kind of American hopped up pale ale, but let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, um, whoa, oh, that's awful. Oh. oh, I was really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to that, but it's like a glass of. washing up liquid or something. That's horrible. That is horrible. There's just nothing to the beer. You're tasting a big kind of... A big... It's like you're drinking carbonated water. Coloured. Nasty mouthfeel, and uh, oh, it's like cardboard. It's like um, oh, there's nothing to that at all. Nothing to that at all. Maybe a slight bit of malt, but um, it's not malt that's coloured that beer. I don't think if if that was malt that's coloured that beer, it should be coming through in the taste. And it really isn't. Um, okay, here we go. Due to Bass's popularity, competitors often forged the Bass Triangle on their labels to emulate Bass's success. As a result, in the 1876, the distinctive Bass Triangle was a key iconic sim me, symbol of the first trademark to be registered in the UK. Brewed in Great Britain since the 18th century, Bass Ale is richly fragrant. Fragrant? has a wonderful hoppy bouquet and a bright chestnut hue. Um, it's brewed by InBev. This cannot possibly be the beer that was first brewed back in 
back in was it eighteen seventy six, eighteenth century. Uh, go on, one more taste, and I'm throwing a lot down the sink. Oh no, that's um, that's awful, awful, awful beer. Thanks for watching me the video now, guys. I better rate it. One, one, um, one out of ten. Thanks for watching me the video, guys. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to my daily beer reviews and cheers.